All right, so my images have finished rendering and I've located in my folder animation Fulton Maya, which is the project that I set up. And I'm gonna to go to my images folder. And these are all the images that I had rendered from that scene, 120 of them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is um, render these in Premiere to put kind of stitch all of these together into one video. So I've got Premiere open, and what I'm going to do is go to New Project, and I'm going to change it to Fulton Maya, and I'm going to change this to um, a folder where I can find staff. I'm going to go to my animation folder, and I'm going to save it here, um, someplace where I know I'm going to choose a location and I'm going to save it in my animation folder in my Fulton Maya. And I'm going to call it my, a movie right here. I'm going to select this. So it's going to be saved into my movies folder in that project. And I'm going to go to create. And it's created a premiere project in there now. Now what I'm going to do is set up a sequence and I'm going to do that by going to new item sequence and I'm going to change the settings here. I'm going to change the editing mode to custom. My time base I want to be 24 frames per second. Frame size is 1920 by 1080 that matches the size of the images that we have in Maya. Um, display format, 24 frames per second, which is perfect. Everything else can stay the same. I'm going to hit OK. Now I want to bring in my images. So I'm going to double tap here and I'm going to locate right now I'm in my movies. That's my project full file right now for my movie. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to my images and I'm going to select just the first one, but make sure that it says image sequence and it's checked right there. I'm going to open that. And there it is. It says four seconds, but we can adjust that to be a full five seconds. So I've got my project set here. My sequence is already set. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to drag it here to my video file. And it says, oh, what do I do? Um, change the sequence to match the clip settings. I want to keep my existing settings, actually. And now it's so skinny. So I'm going to take this and squeeze it down to where I have a better view of my clip here. So it only goes to four seconds, but I want to extend that. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to speed and duration. And I'm going to change the duration right here to five, five seconds instead, which means it's going to go at 80% slower than what Premiere wants it to do. And then I'm going to hit OK. So now it's extended it out to five seconds, which is perfect. Um, from here, I'm basically ready. I'm going to play. It plays through my animation. All right. That's 120 frames all stitched together to be five seconds long. Now what I want to do is go to File. I'm going to Export. I'm going to Export Media. And I've got it set here, um, H.264 is the format that I want. Um, my, I'm going to match that high um, bit rate. So I'm going to keep that the same. The location, I'm going to change that to the file where my project folder is, animation. I'm going to find that Fulton Maya, and I'm going to put it in my movies folder. I'm going to title this Fulton Maya, which is what your project should be saved as. And I'm going to hit save. So now it's saved under those settings. My output, I know exactly where it's going to get saved to, so I know where to find it later. And all of this looks good. I'm going to hit export. And it's going to start exporting this out for me. 
Okay, notice says that it's been fully exported. I'm gonna go find it now. And when I opened up my file folder, it showed up right where I want it to. So I'm gonna to go to my movies folder here. And this right here is your Maya um, video. So I'm gonna test it out before I actually turn something in. Make sure you test it first. Make sure it plays correctly. So it's a pretty good quality rendering of your of your video now it shows a little jump at the end but that's mostly because of the computer and this happening to stall a little bit so that is going to be one thing that i turn in for sure um, the other parts that need to be turned in are going to be um, the project that you that you've created in maya um, so that maya project itself is going to be turned in. So this I'm going to file and I'm going to save scene as I want to make sure that it gets saved where I want it to as well. So animation Fulton Maya scenes and I want to make sure that this gets saved as Fulton Maya. It's going to be in my scenes folder of that project. So I'm going to go to save as and that's the folder that that's the project that I need. So I'm going to go to animation, Fulton Maya, my images folder are all of those images. And my movies folder is my movie that I need. And then my scenes folder is that Maya project file that you've been working on this whole time right there. Those are the things, those two things I need to have saved in the right spot that way i can turn them in correctly so those are the project file right there again that is the movie file right there and you should have your image files that were rendered from before um, showing at least the the three front views for your model that you created and that's pretty much it so until next time we'll see you